So hey guys, with January here comes new goals and resolutions for the year. One thing my, me and my wife really do is sit down in January and start prioritizing things that we'd like to get accomplished on the homestead, as well as um, kind of reevaluating how things went last year and uh, trying to make adjustments, particularly in the garden area or our food source type areas and um, try to figure out what we're going to try different and, and how we can improve things. But in this video, I wanted to chat a little bit about meat birds and chickens. We've just placed our order, um, I think last week sometime, for 50 meat birds. And I wanted to talk a little bit about our experiences with raising meat birds, a little bit of the details uh, with the helps of helping someone else out. So let's talk a little bit about sources. Um, there's you know a lot of places you can go. You can go to a local farmer or, or breeder, pick up chickens. You can go down to like a food, you know, garden, tractor supply type place or there's also online hatcheries available and everyone's kind of got their mixed bag or mixed feelings on, on a lot of these places uh, some people say very poorly about one place and love another and vice versa for example uh, we had gotten uh, several laying hens from tractor supply several years ago uh, we had 100 percent success rate with those chickens they were just great chickens um, but you know shortly after we had I acquired them and looked online at reviews of Tractor Supply and there was a lot of people that talked very poorly. And then the same goes with online mail orders and stuff. So the place we've had the most success is Tractor Supply. The place that we've actually had the worst success is a local uh, breeder that's about a half hour north of us. Um, we've had uh, fairly good success as well ordering online from an, an online hatchery as well. Uh, we've ordered from Myers Hatchery in the past. I think we lost a bird or two. Uh, they quickly refunded our money, but of course, you know that's that's not what it's really about. You want you know the healthiest chickens, and you know you just want them all to survive. And sometimes you know that doesn't happen. So let's talk a little bit about the breeds. There's kind of two ends of the spectrum. They have what they call the white broilers. This is what they use in a lot of commercial production of chickens. And then there's kind of the more the heritage type chickens, which are oftentimes like your, your layer uh, type chickens. And with that, there also comes roosters. And roosters are always kind of the shove by the side type thing. Everyone wants the laying hens. So a lot of times you can find more of the traditional heritage style chickens, uh, what they kind of call a frying pan special, usually about three for a dollar. And then they have the whole other end of the spectrum, you know, the white broiler commercial type grades. And these birds are meant to be the most efficient at the amount of food they consume, uh, you know, amount of time it takes for them to reach butchering weight uh, is all kind of optimized. And we've done those in the past. Uh, there was one year that we did them. Uh, maybe we'll try them again in the future. You know, let's say you try everything twice. But for us personally, we were not very pleased in the end. We're after the healthiest meat source, I guess. And when we did the white broilers, by the time they reached their kind of the eight weeks till they're ready to be butchered, these birds were so plumped out and it was like their legs could hardly support them. We just, we were not very pleased with that type of situation. So this year we did something a little different. We took a little bit more of a middle of the road approach and Myers Hatchery has a breed called the Rainbow Rangers, and we're gonna try those out. They're supposed to be um, very efficient at putting on weight, but they're also supposed to be very good at free ranging. So uh, let's talk, I guess, a little bit about why the heck we ordered them here in the middle of January. Uh, we ordered them, you know, like I said, from an online hatchery. They only hatch so many eggs at a certain period of time, so then they give certain shipping windows. So as soon as those chickens hatch, they ship them out that day, they show up at your door the next day, and as we kind of progress and get closer to spring, those those time slots start getting smaller and smaller. And with the temperatures pretty cold here in uh, Minnesota, we don't really start seeing more nor like warmer temperatures until kind of the end of May, moving into July. And we wanted our chickens to show up somewhere in the, the middle of May. Uh, when you get new baby chicks, you put them under a little brooder heat lamp for a period of time and you slowly move them off of that. So the goal is, is as we move them off of that and they start getting a little bit bigger and feathered out, we can then move them outside and allow them to free range. And then the, the, the final reason is these chickens take about 11 weeks uh, to reach butchering weight. 
and then that would put them somewhere around the 4th of July weekend, which oftentimes tends to be a little bit more of a vacation type day to, to get some of this stuff dealt with. So one last thing I guess I wanted to touch on real quick, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering is how much food do you need? Um, obviously that varies from bird to bird. In the past, when we have ordered uh, meat birds, uh, we, we've done them in chunks of 25. This year we're doing 50. And for us, we seem to be averaging about one 50 pound bag of chicken feed per week. So now we're gonna be going, you know, looking at something around uh, probably two bags uh, per week uh, come this spring. And then these ranger, these rainbow rangers are, should be ready to butcher in about 11 weeks is kind of the recommended time. 11 weeks or sooner, so usually about eight to 11 weeks. Those uh, white broilers, if you took that approach, uh, I believe they're ready to be butchered around eight weeks. So enough of me rambling. I just wanted to share my, my point of views on this. You know, everyone's got their own experiences. This is just the experiences that we've had. We'll take you guys along, you know, this year with, with um, kind of the, the chicken stuff. It's always a lot of fun when you get baby chicks and stuff. They're always so cute and stuff. So we'll take you guys along. You know, I just wanted to kind of talk about some of these points, especially since we're kind of getting into that type of season or it's going to be happening soon. We only got a handful more months here left until green grass and, and gardens and stuff. So was it another four more months or something? So it's coming. It's just, you know, January is kind of the time of setting goals and um, kind of going after and getting things in place. So just wanted to share my thoughts and views on this with you guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.